I'm Ruthie, she, they, and I play Sentinel, she, they. I'm Will, he, him, and I play Moxie, she, her. I'm Immy, she, her, and I play Amaya, also she, her. I'm Steve, he, him, I play Aura, he, him. I'm Sarah, she, her, and I play Freya, she, her. Hi, I'm Mike, he, him, and I'm playing Eugene Ballantyne, he, him. I'm Charlie, he, him, and I'm your DM. episode you guys uh oh oh, a fair amount happened uh so at the ball uh you guys caught on just before the ritual took place um de biles was transformed by um a gift given to him by gaspar a giant coil stone it reacted to him and transformed him uh harnessing the faith of the devout the almost cultish uh, worshippers that had been invited to the ball. Um, and it, tr- it put him inside this great black chrysalis of glass and spikes, uh, and it transformed him during the first part of your fight where you guys were fighting with Rindle, the sorcerer, or not sorcerer, sorry, he's a conjurer, uh, who got away from you when you were hunting down the culprit of the, um, the Archivist Guild theft. Uh, he appeared, he fought him and a few other members of, of this this cult that arrived, wearing the white robes um, that, that many of you recognise maybe from other places. And uh, and then halfway through the fight, the glass chrysalis sheared open and this new debiles, this golden graven of these gold spikes and blood and awful... Uh, long limbs uh, exploded out of this this shell, still attached to the ground uh, by the crystal and the hand bound uh, by the crystal around the coil stone and you uh, fought uh, and a lot of shit happened. Uh, Rindle eventually went down after in a shower of poisoned glass. <laughs> uh, thanks to Freya's, um, it was a gust spell, wasn't it? Not gust, but the other one. Um, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it was just gust of wind. Mm-hmm. And um, Amaya and Moxie and Eugene cut through the uh, the cultists that were in the crowd and around the crowd of people just trying to pile out of the ball. Um, and the rest of you guys, Sentinel, Aura, um, and Freya as well, just piling spells into the graven. Uh, just piling spells into the graven. Eventually it broke free. Um, in just in time, it seems, as the the person that Gaspar called using a sending stick arrived just after Aura ran the Graven through with his in, in, in enhanced blade of fragments uh, after he was resurrected from near death. And that is where we left off. A strange figure stepped through a cut in space. Um, this ripping sound like static filled your heads and cleared your minds um, and you saw this this figure um, in an off-white coat, uh, very thin, their left, um, <clears throat> uh, it was their left side uh, gauntleted in a thin um, metal like, well, gauntlet. Um, they have a bad limp and a clunk with every other step and they're wearing this strange suit of angular cuts and the wrapping waistcoat takes a rasping breath, says at to Gaspar, I see you are successful to a degree. Looks down at the, the body of the graven. Um, and that is the top of the round. So we'll stay in initiative. Um, one thing I will say is, Aura, you're still on top of the graven, right? Or like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you're kind of just surfing. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, God's so it. It's so <laughs> Yes. So if you rec- see if you recognise the voice, and I'll guess I'll roll for Zeal as well. Mm-hmm. What is it? Investigation or, um, or intelligence? Or I would say investigation is fair. <laughs> Zeal rolled a four. 
Oh, oh no, I also rolled a four if it's investigation. <laughs> Twinning! <laughs> yeah. He's just in, the, in your hair at this point. Um, no, don't. Maybe it's just the adrenaline rushing through you, you just don't recognise the voice. Okay, Aura, your turn. Um, I don't know what to do now, this guy's appeared. Um, hey, Rindle's back. What's Gaspar doing right now? Is he uh, stopped or is Gaspar, he stopped? oh, he moves to the top of the round, thank you for the reminder. Him and Farrow, uh, and Julian. So, um, he What's has What's doing? doing? He, he fled in the crowd. Oh, so he's just pissed off? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's all right. Um, <laughs> Gaspar uh, turns, looks over at this figure, um, and kind of bows, like, looking at the ground. and doesn't say anything, but he's no longer fleeing. Uh, Julian is also in the bottom right. He was within the last dregs of the crowd. Uh, he'd made his way around the wall over the last couple of rounds, and he's looking out. Uh, where well, you're not sure whether he's looking at um, over at Sentinel's back. Um, Marks is still kind of in the crowd a little bit, but he's also looking towards this new figure. Um, and Pharaoh is standing motionless. He's as confused as many of you. Um, I would say he probably stepped, take, takes a step back towards the tables. Um, and uh, yeah, that's good. And then at that, it is Aura's go. Oh man. <laughs> um, well, my longsword's broken, so I might as well just drop that. Um, <laughs> um, Gaspar's pretty distracted right now, isn't he? Uh, he's got his, his eyes on this new figure that's approached. Um, uh, to be fair, most people have their eyes on this guy. Uh, I'm going to go with my great dagger and hand axe and just jump at him. And okay. Attack with the dagger yeah. and then bonus action for the two weapon fighting with the hand axe. Sure, okay. Let's see what happens. I mean, yeah. That guy is looking at Gaspar and <laughs> I, just jumps. My passive, <laughs> my passive is terrible. I haven't even noticed. Okay. I did come out of feel like fucking smites you down with your <laughs> one hit point. <laughs> yeah, roll a, roll a, an attack. Go on then, try. try. Uh, <laughs> 18. Uh, that hits. So that was the great dagger. The big dagger. Uh, four points of piercing damage and four points in necrotic. Okay, so eight points. That hurts him. And then the hand axe. Uh, that's not as good. That's sixteen. Uh, that misses. So the first strike takes him by surprise. Um, you bury it in his shoulder. He turns away, ready for the next one. Brings the 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 saber up to deflect the axe. He looks pissed. That's a shame for him, isn't it? <laughs> um, yeah, that's all I've got. Um, <laughs> no worries. Uh, Clayton's going to roll a death save. Go on, Clayton. Oh, wow. That's a fail. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's, it's fine, we're going to heal him. It's, it's all right. right. You just have to... It's still good. It's still Maybe I shouldn't tell you. I won't tell you from now on what he gets. It's still no, good. It's just unconscious. Okay. Sentinel. He'll be fine. I won't. <laughs> I would say that yeah. I mean, the Graven's not taking up much space. You can, you can. I was going to say you can might be able to hide behind it, but it's just on the floor. So, I'm gonna start leaving. Okay. We came to do. We came to do one thing. And we've done it. So I'm gonna start. I'm just gonna turn my back on this guy and walk towards Julian. Where okay. is Julian? He's um, at the, right at the front. Where, towards near. you. Yeah. yeah, he's actually, no. you, Julia, um, Julian's towards the entrance to the, so to my right of Moxie. Oh, he's all the way over here. Yeah, yeah. he made his way around the edge for the so whole fight. So where do you want to go? Um, as cl- look, I've got 30 feet of movement. And I'm just gonna fire off 
the most lazy uh, Eldritch Blast at him. Uh, 16 to hit. To hit Julian? Mm -hmm. That hits. Yeah. Take that to Julian immediately. <laughs> Five points down. Okay. I give a fuck. I'm walking out. Yeah. Five points of damage. Mm -hmm. He takes the hit, turns around, and looks directly at you. Spin. Okay. You were wearing an eye mask, right? Are you taking it off? I took it off when I went after this girl. Okay, so he looks at you and you see his eyes through that um, red mask, that featureless mask, and he just locks eyes with you, and that's it. Okay. Uh, it is uh, the Graven's Gay. It's rolling death okay. saves. I hope so. <laughs> Nothing else. <laughs> Which means we have oh. to fucking finish taking it out. Double tap. We double do tap have it. to double tap it. I can't hear it. Good work. Thanks. We're fucked. <laughs> Sorry, I had to roll the wrong thing. It was not d20, but I can't transfer that over, so... Let's roll again. Okay. I'm confused. We're fucked. That's what's happening. I don't like this. Uh, yeah, we're getting out. Can we go back to when it was fun and we did shopping and stuff? Okay. Uh, so, and kissing? Yeah, I like the kissing. So as you um, uh, step off of or jump off the back of this graven uh, aura, you feel a shift underneath it. Um, and after fighting with uh, Gaspar for a split second, you look back and in the hand that's still cr encrusted around the coil stone, there's another, the coil stone flickers to life. Um, and you see a couple of some of the the less severe wounds knit back together. Um, just, the just out of curiosity, because it's something that's on mine, like with mine, if it's damage from a crit, mm -hmm. um, it doesn't work. Just uh, to, this just, isn't the this isn't the same. No, I, no I, just, I just wanted to check because like, and and there's radiant and necrotic in there as well. Yeah, so. When it was it, the the you knew that from that fight that the radiant and necrotic interrupted its its yeah. ability to try and absorb um, whatever yeah. energy this was from these worshippers. There's nothing of that going on. So you, I'll, I'll give you that, that anyone around it. There's no none of that energy yeah. wicking off or taking anything from any. I of just want to I just wanted to check just in case. Yeah. So all you see is the coil stone that's still around its grasp and it's it can't open its hand. It's still. Crusted around with the with the chrysalis shell, and there's a flicker. Um, only only, it's it's not moving yet. It's almost beginning to twitch, but it has begun uh, knitting parts of the muscle, the threads back together. Some of the golden spines begin reforming out of liquid gold. It's doing a thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, it is the, no cultists. They all died. <laughs> so uh, where are Eugene? Uh, with what Aura said, I'm gonna fire a firebolt at um, the Graven. Okay, uh, that is a disadvantage because it's yeah. prone, yeah. But is it still there? But advantage because it's a dead card. <laughs> uh, that's not bad. Uh, 19. That hits. Yes. Very nice indeed. Five points of fire damage. Okay. Uh, so. That was... Yeah, he doesn't like that very much. <laughs> uh, the your some of the mending, uh, you know, it slows a bit so slightly, and it looks almost dead. But uh, those of you in the vicinity can still see it's maybe twitching slightly. Okay, Moxie. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah, him. Just seeing Eugene. Uh, try and double tap it. I'll go for it as well. Just short touch. Disadvantage. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> well, they were both. Really bad. Well, yeah, does a ten hit? <laughs> misses. Oh, you. Uh, cool. Um, I move over a little bit. Okay. And then yeah, just yeah, just move slightly away from, slightly more away from the door, and yeah, that'd be my turn. Very nice. Okay. Am I? Um. Yeah, if I, <laughs> if I were to try and stabilize him again. Mm -hmm. Would that have any effect, like any positive effect on his death saves? 
if you succeed, but we're saying that it was a it's 15 as an untrained medicine check. So you just have to be trying again, basically. And I'm but standing you, next to you. <laughs> you can, yes. Yeah, but can you do anything else is the, is mm. the thing. Have you got anything to throw? Which hand is it on? Uh, the, the, the thing. On its right hand, I believe. So um, how, far away, how far away is it from her? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. 30. Do you want me there? Um, you... Okay, I I think it's the better option because Freya's going to be able to. I'm going to like gen- respond. <laughs> with her. <laughs> Freya, what should I do? I've got him. Get the big guy. Okay, I'll like just lower him down. I'll be like, you'll be fine. <laughs> and then I'm going to run over and um, to its hand, and I would like to um, two-handed like. Chop his hand off. Okay, yeah. So what we'll say is this is the same as attacking the coral stone, right? Because it's all one big lump around its wrist and hand. Yeah. Well, not the coral stone, sorry. The, Basically, where like where, where it, it. stops, like so, if there's like the shell, if it's like here, I want to go for the arm to like okay. disconnect. Yeah. <laughs> Roll attack with the advantage. You're, with advantage. It was, it was prone. Can't run away from me, mate. Oh, okay. okay. So is it, does this count as incapacitated? Yeah, because okay, so uh, yes, it's technically, it's technically so it's not a crit. Insta hits. If you hit. Uh, it's also yeah, it's an auto crit. Yes. No, oh, wait, it's, it's, it's an auto crit. Yeah, it's an advantage, if you hit. and then if you hit, it's an auto crit. Yeah. That's a 16 plus. Uh, it hits. 7. So it's an auto crit. So, okay, so that is. Um, Immediately max dice damage. So 10 that's plus a 6. That's a DM. Oh. oh my god. Yeah, what am I looking for? A D10. Sorry. Uh, Sorry, six, um, so, uh, 16 plus 6. 24. Thanks. 22. 22. Okay. Whatever. Uh, very nice. So you you cleave off its arm. Nice. Uh, the, the coal stone remains in the hand, separate. It glows, but it's now removed from its body. Is there, I also can't do anything else, but does it look like there's anything, like it's affecting anything in the body now it's detached? Uh, it doesn't appear to be healing anymore. Okay. But you did damage it quite badly. I am just going to keep look, it's like staring at the body just in case it does anything. Okay. Okay, that's all. Very nice. Okay, Freya. Um, what are you going to do? Well, if I do spare the dying, I can't heal myself. Yeah, you can. Um, can I? There's yeah. two spells. Yeah, there's a cantrip and a bonus action. You can do cantrip and a bonus action. Oh, yes, yeah, cantrip, of course. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to do spare the dying. Mm-hmm. Can you heal by yourself? Okay. And I'm going <laughs> to. Two healing words on myself. <laughs> yeah, very nice. So yeah, Clayton takes a ragged breath. He's unconscious but alive. Yes. Nice. Um, nine health back. Very nice. I'm alive. Okay. Oh God. <laughs> so. Oh, can I grab? Can I do a movement too? Mm-hmm. Um, can I? Can I drag someone else with me? It's half movement. I'd like to drag him towards the door. Sure. So, so um, 10, 20, 20, 30. 30. Dragging him by the arm. He's unconscious, <laughs> but you know he's stable. Uh, so Gaspar is looking over at this new figure, uh, and this figure raises up their silvery gauntleted hand, almost filigreed metal, and they pull back their hood, revealing sharp, young male features. Um, his skin is powdered white, eyes and eyelashes, and surrounding creased skin is blue uh, with a, with makeup. Uh, and then after a moment, you see a shadow play over the white skin, like a wisp of smoke that marbles the skin. And he steps towards the Biles' body. All the way over. Yes, yeah, so a clunk, clunk over to the foot, still 10 feet away from a mire. He's tall, thin. Okay. And he has a completely blank expression at the corpse. And it says, it, he says, Once upon a time, you would have to dig deep to find coils and relics. Now they are hoarded by men like this one. And he opens his cloak, and from within a black sphere floats free, bobs beside him cracks sheer across its surface 
and they emanate a heavy purple light that seems to fall away from it like smoke. And then a book follows, seemingly made from splintering wood and burnt flesh, and the paper fans to a specific page. He limps up to it. He looks at Gaspar, and Gaspar is, is looking down at the floor. And the man walks up to next to you. Your sword is, is, is your sword is ringing not like loud in your hand. It's not audible to anyone else, but you can feel it, and it's almost like willing to. It's vibrating up your, the bones of your arm. He reaches down. Um, he breaks open the. Uh, I mean, I'll roll for it, I guess. He breaks open the shell around the coil stone, pulls out the coil stone. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, I'll say that all of that speech was his bonus action, so he has an action left. Um, he casts he casts a spell. Uh, he bends over with the coil stone in one hand and places it on the graven in front of him. And you see, <laughs> not as a reaction though. <laughs> oh. uh, who would know what this is? Freya would be the only person. Uh, so the coil stone disintegrates into pieces, and a strange smoke emanates from this floating sphere by him as it cracks into pieces, floats around him as he's casting a spell, and the coil stone turns to mist and goes into the biles. And he has just uh, cast Revivify. <laughs> um, and the Biles, <laughs> the creature thr thrashes. Uh, it is alive, but that is all he's done. Uh, I did say he uses bonus action on a speech. Can I take that back? No. No, <laughs> <laughs> he's like, let us do Absolutely it. not. Fair enough. Uh, <laughs> and he looks over at Gaspar. And he is furious, a silent fury on his face. And that is the end of this this man's go. <laughs> oh no! Oh, <laughs> why won't he die? You know what you gotta do? <laughs> yeah. Revivify, from what I know, doesn't bring you up much. So just a little different touch. So are you saying that I should carve this graven <laughs> like a cow? Yes. Cool. Eugene? <laughs> uh, bring me the cleaver. <laughs> so it's Aura's go. Eugene, whether or not you uh, <laughs> can get it, get it your time to shine. <laughs> Remember that time we did it to a sand hole? We're doing it again. <laughs> so I don't know what, who was watching this at the time. Well, because, no, I wasn't. Yeah, okay, so Sentinel has ice only for, for Julian. Uh, I, imagine you, I imagine you were. Well, uh, I was stood there. So it is I'm Aura's aware, go. I'm aware of what's going on. It's like two people behind me. It's yeah. Aura's go. Um, Oh wait, uh, top of the round is also the other guys. It's Faro, Gaspar, Julian. Julian. That's almost forgot in a moment. Uh, Faro, uh, he he takes a seat on the table. <laughs> oh, I'm saying uh, Faro. He just watching. Oh my Farrow. god. Um, He's well, the, the absolute worst. What well, a lad. He just takes a seat. Uh, Gaspar. Is that a cigarette? It's <laughs> a popcorn. It's a drink from behind him. Gaspar is going to grapple Aura. Uh, that's an 18. It's okay. Oh no, it's, it's not. I'll oh, use that roll for a strength check. Yes. Yeah, so I can use acrobatics or athletics. No, I have to. You have to use athletics. You can use that. That is a 23. Okay. What was it? 23. Either athletics or acrobatics. No, I can't beat it. So he uh, he just arms under yours. Your your sort of. But you're wearing, uh, holding a knife now, aren't you? And the axe. Yeah. He just he just pulls you back like this. So you can't move. You're not incapacitated. You just can't move. Okay. Um, Julian's go. I should have started rolling for them, but it's fine that they can. They'll all act at the top, I guess. Um, it's easy to keep track of them. Yeah. Julian looks over at you. Uh, he remains uh, locked eyes with you, Sentinel. And. <sighs> You see him pull out a small piece of fabric and it turns to nothing. And I need you to make an intelligence saving throw, please. It's 
That's a fail. Yep. Uh, you see from the crowd uh, around Julian, um, a man that you haven't seen for a long time. A man with salt and pepper, slicked back hair, widow's peak, diamond-shaped face and greyish mauve skin. You see your father in his youthful prime. He steps out from the crowd, his horns pointing up out of his forehead, tall. He adjusts his suit. He's younger than you've seen him for a while. He draws a sword and he rushes you. I mean, yeah, he, he, he attacks you and his blade seems to move uh, absurdly fast. And you take five points of psychic damage as it cuts into you and you see, you feel the blade strike you, you, you see the wounds, it, but everything feels wrong. Uh, everything feels, uh, it, it, it's an overwhelming moment and it, you can't seem to make sense of how he's here and the, you're looking down at the wound and it feels real in one moment and then the next it feels, uh, it doesn't feel real and uh, he is standing in front of you. Is that all the damage that I take? That yes. Okay. Uh, now it's all okay. This is an action to break free, isn't it? You have to succeed on the check again. That does grapple mean you can't pass uh, No, you can. No. I think it's. Uh, it's just restrained the pass. Um. Then, we're going to go almost the same time as last time. Um, Dagger into Gaspar, and then I'm going to throw the axe at the Raven. Uh, can you do that as a bonus action? Yeah, with two weapon fighting. If okay. it's light property, it can be thrown as well. So the, the attack on that Gaspar is a straight, uh, and the, the throw on the Graven is with disadvantage because it's prone. Uh, Gaspar's a 15. Uh, misses. <laughs> Level. So no misses. He's grabbing. He's so he's grabbing you. You spin the knife round, and Gaspar just tucks under the way, still restraining you. And as he pulls your arm back, you swing the axe. <laughs> it just goes over and smashes into the table as the other side of the Graven. Okay. Anything else? Um. I'm just gonna turn to. Gaspar and growl at him in deep speech and say, submit. Okay. He looks a bit worried about that. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that's it. So I'm just okay. gonna move my hand. You can, sm like, he's sl he's like slick with sweat and you can smell, like, the almost smell the fear on him. He's like, um, not having a good time. Okay, uh, it's Clayton's go. He is stable, so we're not rolling any more death saves. And it's Sentinel's go. Your father is standing before you. Ruthie knows what spell this could be. <laughs> Would Sentinel? <laughs> or right. am I completely convinced? You, you failed the check, so you are convinced. Right. Yes, that's unfortunately the way it works. Yeah, no, that's fair enough. He's <laughs> like, I know what this is. <laughs> yeah the small damage that and the unfortunate thing is I don't have a weapon so there is a just guy grab, right next to you though just grab a great arm yeah there's, there's, there's there yeah. are there any weapon we know well are there any weapons I don't know if my hand that ended up you near enough to you, you. you well, I mean you can use your action to investigate right, or okay. you can use your auto sorry perceive or you can use your, your action to examine the situation it would be like more of an intelligence based save uh, that would be investigation um no, they're gonna panic um, okay. and uh, try to cast sword burst. So anything within five feet of me. In front of you. Oh, completely around me. Okay. Oh, you hit the graven too. Um, I am five feet of the graven. Yeah. Yeah, his head. Uh, uh, mm. okay. He's not. He's in. Look, you'd have to look him. You've got better sight than me. She's on the yeah, edge of another one. Because she's basically, they, she's between, yeah, sorry, sorry they, they, are. they are between the, yeah. That's right, isn't it? Yeah. 
Will you let me have it? What's it called? Sword Burst? Yeah. Oh, I don't see it. You'll have Conjuration to just... counter. If you create momentary circle of spectral blades that sweep around you, all other creatures within five feet of you must succeed on a dexterity saving throw. Okay. Um, the Graven, I mean, it's uh, it has, I'll be honest with you now, it has one hit point and it's awake. So it can roll even though it's prone. But I guess we'll see what happens. Because if it's around you, you're kind of on the edge of it. So yeah, we'll give it to you. You're probably within five feet of it. So, if it's prone, can it have disadvantage? Does it have disadvantage on? I, I don't know if it does. Should we have a look? Flick the disadvantage, apparently. I never knew that tab was there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a very useful tab. <laughs> okay, well, anyone else in the. No, it's just the Graven. Oh, uh, and. and it's just, it's well, just strange. Uh, okay, so tell us what the spell looks like. Um, they immediately panic, and a whole set of sweeping rapiers just start like fucking coming out from like in like a circle around them. Yeah, and as as you watch the the blades just move through him and he just smiles and brings up a sword for another attack. Um what's the DC for the save? 14. That's an natural 15. Oh, please. <laughs> please do it. Yeah no uh, so it is the. It's the silver, silver barbs on that. Oh, okay. Yeah. What, what does it tell us what it does? So, like, my eyes flash silver. Uh, that is 60 feet within. It is within 60 feet of me, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, cool. Then, yeah, my eyes flash silver, and then just like a, a motive possibility sort of like flashes out, and you have to roll again and say the lowest roll. Oh, okay. Uh, so, roll once more, I always ask. Yep. Yeah. Once more. Yeah. Okay, let's get the stats up again. What was it again? Um, 15 was the DC. The DC was DC 14. DC 14, and it was uh, Dex. Yeah. yeah. That's a natural one. <laughs> uh, the sword slice into its head, the only thing within range, and it goes motionless. It's too damage for the stars. No, this no. is the third time. Does it, is it, is it an injury to... check because it drops a zero for a second time? <laughs> <laughs> sure. Well, it's already lost I mean, an yeah. arm. Well, you're yeah. not wrong, yeah. but it's, it's, already <laughs> head. it's already losing an arm, so I won't roll on the... Uh, and roll. I have absolutely no idea that I just did that. Because <laughs> I wasn't yeah. looking towards it. Uh, and then I will also give Sentinel uh, the advantage as well. Do I get another chance to save? Uh, or is it yes, because it's immediate with the reaction. Uh, no, it's because. Uh, is it? Well, is, I was. I don't know. Is it a? Um, you have to use an action to. So, oh, okay. Yeah. So it's not at the end of your turn. You can. No, I save. thought it was, but it, 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 it. I'll double check. But I think it is. Uh, Julie, I feel was he within range? Was he? Of the swords? God, no. No, he's by the. He's he's by the front near Freya. Uh, <laughs> yes. Yeah, so you need to use your action to examine. Yeah. The, the the thing. Okay. Uh, so it's the Barl's go. Yeah, we'll see. Okay. It's down again. <laughs> Double tap it, lads. Saves the days. <laughs> <laughs> Double tap it, lads. Um, okay, Eugene. Um, hmm. So I'm going to firebolt into Gaspar. So, jelly bean. Yeah. Very nice. Roll that attack. That are four. It's no ten. Yeah, no, that misses, unfortunately. Yep, it's that's impossible. my go. <laughs> it's impossible to hit this guy. Okay. Uh, Moxie. It's a, as far as I know, it's down. It's, the, it's not doing like the weird like he, crystal healing shit again, is it? Healing the crystal's not attached. The crystal is yeah. now gone. It was it was used in whatever spell that this figure cast. Cool. Uh, yeah, okay, I'll go for a chill touch. No, you know, can I hold a chill touch? And if Julian does anything aggressive to anyone, I'd like to. Uh, far off chill touch sure. Julian. Yeah, you can see him, he's within the crowd near Freya. Uh, you probably may have seen, no, you probably didn't see him cast the, the last spell. It was quite subtle and nothing directed at Sentinel, so. But fair enough, so you're holding a spell. Just just cantrip, yeah. Which one? Chill touch, fair chill enough. Touch, yeah. Okay. Uh, 
Right, Amaya, you're up. Um, do you, so this guy in front of me, mm-hmm. I have two questions. Firstly, if I were to move, would he get attack of opportunity? Technically. Or if I very slowly back away? <laughs> you can use an action to disengage. No, I don't want to do that. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. I'm going to try and talk to him. Okay. What do you say? But first of all, do I recognise anything about him because I'm just confused as to why my sword is reacting to this thing? Roll, uh, roll uh, an investigation check. Investigation. To deduce what may be happening. That's a natural <laughs> 20, but it's a minus one. <laughs> no. So oh. You believe that, that the, the act of cutting through space and yeah. stepping into this and from what I think you guys spoke about what you saw on the boat as well with Eugene when he l- touched mm. the scar, you believe that this is <laughs> the... Uh, you believe that this... Uh, the, the reason that the sword is ringing once again is for yeah. the same reason that it was ringing on the boat. That this man yeah. or is responsible for um, the scar that you saw on the boat. Uh, okay. You believe that it would make sense that it's not the the spell, the cutting through space spell that caused it to ring, but it is this man. Okay. <laughs> I just I I just want information. Um, you can still talk. You, that was your action. I but. I'm just gonna ask him. Where did you come from? <laughs> it's really casual. Where <laughs> did you come? From? So what brought you here? <laughs> I'm probably here today. How are Can you? I help you? Are you here for the ritual? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Definitely. Um, he says, he takes a ragged breath. A god dies at your hands. He sneers at you and at the rest. And that's what he does. <laughs> I'm just gonna stare him down. Double tap it. Okay. That's all. I'm still staring at him. Okay. <laughs> it is Fred's game. Yeah. <laughs> um, can I stash um, Clayton, Clayton behind this door? Basically. Yeah. Uh, okay, oh, yeah. Right. I mean, yeah. Like you use ten feet yes. to get in, chuck him down. Yes. <laughs> chuck him. Chuck him in the stay. crowd. <laughs> Still a few people milling about, like trying to get out, screaming. <laughs> the usual. The usual. Um, I'm gonna yell, Sentinel could really do with the lantern! <laughs> um, I don't expect it, I'm just saying. You um, say that. Oh, fuck. Oh. <laughs> uh, but, well, Maybe oh, is. fuck, but now he might. He like was that. just looking just straight at you. He was looking straight at me, but he doesn't know that name, so now we might be new fake. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you guys don't know who I was wrong for. I think he was wrong oh, no. for the lantern and the guy. It's fine. Which is great. Um, <laughs> I will do a sacred flame. What is the Graven down again? He's Sink. rolling. It's incapacitated. We don't know. Do a sacred flame on uh, you, you, I mean, <laughs> double tap it. I'm just gonna. What do you want me? It, what right? do you want me to or say? Should I do like a sacred flame on? <laughs> He's, the, the Graven has been. Uh, like, let's say that all of you were aware that he had tried to revive it. You were aware he tried to revive it, mm-hmm. and you would have probably seen as you were leaving the 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 wound caused in its skull by Sentinel. So, it's no longer moving. Where it was once twitching, uh, the crystal went with the revivify. And now it is not moving after whatever has happened in between there, i.e. Sentinel appears to have hit it and injured it mm-hmm. to the point where it is no longer moving. Okay. But I can't say it dead because no one's there checking it. Mm. Um, can I do a sacred flame on Mr. Marble then? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why not piss him off as well? <laughs> <laughs> Stupid? Yeah. Do you want to There's nothing wrong with doing stupid things. We all do stupid things. Stupid things are great. Okay. Well, you'd have to do it. So I'm in a fight with my dad. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Actually, no, he doesn't. He just lets it him. 
Wow, that's a matching move. Okay, it's just my full radiant. Okay. Uh, yeah, it, it, the radiant energy smashes over his side. Uh, it's like, actually, it hits the side of him that's hanging loose, um, and it sounds like it's it, it's hitting um, metal, a solid metal <laughs> on, on that side, glittering with the radiant energy. Was it a guiding bolt? No, no it's a sacred, sacred flame. flame. So yeah, no, no, yeah, but it's, it sounds like it hits metal on that side of his body where the, the suit and the cloak kind of hang low and loose, mm-hmm. whereas the other half, they, they seem to fill it. Can I duck? I want to duck behind the door on this side. Okay. To the kitchens. Sorry. <laughs> I think I fucked up quite a lot in that round. <laughs> uh, Freya, it was you. Uh, top of the round. Uh, hmm. Lad squad. Dickhead squad. Start with. Um, <laughs> Pharaoh remains oh. seated. Pharaoh's. Oh, I think he's sucks. in on this. A hundred p. Like he's just here to watch the chaos. Yeah. <laughs> Pharaoh remains seated. Uh, doesn't know what to do from the from outward inspection. Uh, Julian. Okay. Julian disappears in a mist of energy and appears next to Aura and Gaspar. Should we just make him this gun? Go for it. Howdy. Like here. Yes. Yes. And says, You failed, Gaspar. Give up. Fall to your fucking knees. And uh, Gaspar's like wrestling with Aura, <laughs> and, and like he looks over at the at the guy, um, uh, who is also acting. At, no, is he? Yeah, he's acting at the top of the round. Um, he looks down at the Graven. He looks out at you, and looks over at Aura. The rest of you, slowly. I am weak, but the seals will fall. The towers will once again light the way for the worthy, and you shall not live to see it. Disagree with you. (laughs) He steps forward up to Gaspar, taller than the rest of them. And he looks him dead in the eyes, and he says, The boy plays games, but he is not wrong. And he reaches out a finger to Gaspar, and he drops, so in that moment he would have dropped the the grapple on you, and he puts his hands up in supplication, and... uh, uh, the man reaches out at the gauntleted finger. The 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 floating orb by his side fractures into pieces, and uh, the the liquid smoke, this purple hue, wraps around him, channels up to his finger, and he points on Gaspar's forehead. And there is a brief flash, a little flash, pinprick of sickly purple light. Um, and he has to make a save quickly. Yeah, he fails. Uh, a, uh, uh, from the moment of impact on Gaspar's forehead, uh, there is an eruption of devastating concussive impact. Uh, Gaspar, is, his head is reduced to liquid as his body <laughs> fires through the smashed window that Freya had already destroyed. Um, <laughs> And then the man steps way back to where the ribbon was, as far as he can. So, oh, what, over here? Yeah, so maybe nearer. I don't think he can get there. Clunk. He's walking quite slow. Each, every, two in every, uh, one in every two steps, a clunk of metal. And that is his go. Aura. 
Is Julian wearing any metal? Uh, he's got a saber by his side, but he's not. He's wearing clothes for a ball and a red mask, and you wouldn't know who he is either. Uh, it was just from a glance. Um, <laughs> I'm going to um, grab him by the throat. Julian. Yep. Okay. See, you don't fuck with my family, and I'm going to shock him grass. Okay. Roll and attack. Oh, Stop using that dice. <laughs> that was what he got the nat 20 on, though. Oh, was uh, it? And the, and the it's, save. Yeah. Yeah. It's an eight total. Eight. Yeah. And this is just ish. Um, <laughs> just ish. <laughs> Who killed. Oh, yeah, it was he. Anyway, okay. Hmm? That's just which time. Yeah. <laughs> which one are we all on? We've all on a go. <laughs> We've all technically done a kill. What are you doing, Aura? Uh, I'm just yeah, going to stay there. I'm de- I was debating whether to walk away from him. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Uh, I'll stick there. I want the shopping grass to go off so I could walk away. So you go to attack. Um, and I, he just he 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 kind of twists his body and bats it away. He's a lively bastard. Yeah, he is. Okay, uh, Clayton is fine. Sentinel. Um, have I taken any more damage from? Uh, yes, you would. It would have been on his go as yeah. well. Uh, I don't know actually if you continue to take damage. I think I do. While I'm in range of it. Each round, yeah, each round. That is correct. If you're within five feet of the creature, oh, it's almost like I know what spell this. <laughs> uh, that is. Is it like phantasmal? Yeah. Force. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so none of you know what I can see. No. Nope. Where's this fucking... So you freak out. There it is. Uh, five points of psychic damage. As the blade just run, he just runs you through your this young version of your father that maybe you... He looks as though he were when you were a child. Okay. It is your game. And I know that the sword burst didn't do anything. Not to him, yeah. Uh, it just went through him. And I would have, I wouldn't have noticed Delia move. Uh, yeah, all right. I'm going to use my action to go into this little house. Okay. So your um, camo mm-hmm. falls onto the floor. Ding. Cameo. Cameo. Ding. Falls onto the floor of the, the marble tiles and you disappear. You appear in your room. Can I, oh, it's a free object interaction to grab the bag of shit. It absolutely is. <laughs> <laughs> Pillowcase full of shit. <laughs> and I'm hyperventilating. <laughs> but I can't Because you do believe that it's real? Yeah. I, I, there's nothing else I can do this time. Okay, fair enough. So, someone remove Sentinel for. Well, actually, it's fine, we'll leave it. It's fine, because that yeah. is where I will pop back yes. up if I can. Okay. Uh, uh, yes, Devon. Oh, can I use my bonus action to pull out a specific item from the bag? Sure. Can I get the Gods Lantern ready? Mm hmm. Very nice. Uh, it is Eugene's go. Um, mm-hmm. I don't know who Julian is, so I wouldn't. The only person who would would be uh, Freya, because I pointed, mm. pointed him out. Yeah. Mm. Mm. And um, obviously Moxie. I think I recognise everyone. <laughs> the horny <laughs> horn. <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to hold Firebolt just in case the Prophet turns around and attacks someone. The disciple. The disciple. So sorry. The disciple. Killed, they killed the prophet, my man. <laughs> <laughs> sure. the yeah, that's what these gods. You're in, a, you're in range, I think. Oh, right? yeah, it's 120. Though. Very nice. Yeah. Sure. So you're going to hold that. Yeah. Anything else? No. <laughs> okay. Moxie. Yeah, I'm just going to hold his chilled touch if anyone attacks anyone. So Sentinel disappears. Her, cho- oh, her the there. choker. Yeah, uh, they disappear. Her cho- the choker falls to the floor. Ding, ding, ding. Onto the marble. Actually, no. Point. Because you're watching, like, 
yeah. intently to see if anyone attacks. Okay, so yeah, I know about yeah, I know about the plan of everything. So actually, could I run up to where's to her to their to mm-hmm. choker? Yeah, yeah, to their choker, grab it, and then so I can get a little bit closer to her. Yeah, with Freya with people can move it, can't they? Yeah, yeah, sure yeah. They can, and I yeah. can hear everything that's happening outside. Yeah, so you, you grab it. Yeah, so uh, 5, 10, 15, 20 there. Yeah, pick it up, and then 25, 30. Cool, there. yeah, yeah, whisper into it. It's me, yeah, it's me. Don't worry, it's me. Okay. It's uh, just the whole room shake. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just because what the fuck is that? This is the worst. This is no good, very bad day. <laughs> okay, Amaya. Okay, so um, I want to like look around and see what's happening. I'm like, mm-hmm. aura's not looking good. So I'm just going to go doink, 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 doink. Um, and I want to, I don't want to... I don't want to cut off any more limbs today or cut any more people in half. Bear in mind that, just as a recap, uh, Julian hasn't attacked Aura. Julian hasn't attacked any of us. He's just standing there. He's just been a guy. He appeared and told the the disciple guy that Gaspar failed and then the guy killed Gaspar. Okay, but he's still linked to all this creepy shit. Sure. And also he could attack Aura. And he was part of the deal. Yeah, you do. Honestly, you do. I was just recapping. So... I kind of don't really care <laughs> that he's not attacked anyone because my friends are in danger. Um, I think I want to... Do I grapple? Stop. I don't know if I want to stab any more people today. <laughs> I've had enough of killing. you stabbed quite a lot of people. <laughs> Can I, like... Think of Clayton. Would I be able to like grab his arms and like pull them behind his back? To grapple him. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, you can do that. So you're just a contested. So you do athletics versus his athletics or acrobatics. And he's a slippery little prick. Athlet I'm gonna roll athletics. Okay. Yeah, you have to do that. He gets a choice, but that is a seventeen plus six, so twenty-three. Okay. Uh his save is not that good. Nineteen. Cool. Um, and I'm going to whisper in his ear, you better start fucking talking. Okay. Also, now Aura, it's very open for you to stab him. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. You don't, you don't hear anything from me, he's still wearing this featureless I'm red mask, so yeah, you, you don't get a reaction from him, yeah. Okay. Okay, uh, Freya. Um... <laughs> I don't know what to do. I just saw Sentinel disappear, which is reassuring. Action, action panic. <laughs> uh, in bonus action I have panic. a question at the start. To the top. It's only fucking me, so. <laughs> at the start of your turn. I don't know what around. to do. <laughs> Are we retreating? Yeah. In general? Probably. Yeah, I guess. What are we going to do Can I yell now? out, time to go! Home time! <laughs> time to go! Uh, and Just five more minutes! <laughs> run it, I'm going to go over Mom. here and crouch with the thingy. With Clayton? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Do you want to hold your action? I'm going to hold... I mean, I can't pre-hold a spell I don't have yet, no, can no, I? that's true. No, okay. <laughs> you should hold an action to catch. Oh, <laughs> old action again. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Yeah, that's true. You can't really do much. <laughs> you could Sorry. Just is, there, is there any? There's no point in holding out to catch because I can just catch, right? Yeah. Okay. Can yeah. I then hold a sacred flame? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. What's the trigger? Um, I'm try to Julian attack. attacking someone. Okay, fair enough. And you will attack him, I guess. Yeah, he's just like four held actions on him right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Come on, try me. <laughs> uh, um, wait, 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 actually. Can I can I look at what the other dude is doing? The disciple. Does he look like he's leaving? He's walking back to where he to the cut in reality. Okay. Well, I'm going to just let him leave. <laughs> 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 bye, please, please, please go, bye. Okay. Now so. I'm about to ruin my entire life. Okay. Phantasmal Force. 
is not on a is on a person, not on a spot. Mm-hmm. Has Royce come with me? Uh, I was just looking this up. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, I'm gonna die in a yeah. demi plane. <laughs> so you treat it. Uh, so you, because you basically irrationalize illogical outcomes. Yeah. Because you're under the spell's effects. Um, so you know if it. If you go to grab him and you fall through him, your brain would rationalize it as he's thrown you down. Yeah. If you, and in this instance, uh, I'm just checking. Does it continue on to demi play? <laughs> oh my God. Is it because if it is does, it I'm dead in a box that no one can get to me. I mean, I think that if you go unconscious in your demi play and you would, pop back out, I, don't would, know, I believe. I do. Would different plane of existence break concentration? That's the other question. But it's. It is concentration. Let's just have a look. Also, because he is grappled, does he, can he still concentrate or should I yes. just stab him? Oh, I'm going to screw it. I'm going to screw it. You're going to screw it? I'm going to screw it. In front of everyone. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really specific uh, thing, so I'm just going to look it up. <laughs> nope, you exit the vessel early if you use a bonus action to... Oh, if you use a bonus action to leave. Then you would know that. I would know that, so I would be back. Yes. Because I would have done it in one turn, I just wouldn't have used the bonus action to... But I'm back. Yeah, free action, grab the stuff, and then you bounce back yeah. in the same turn. But you... you Yeah, so instead of having the God's Lantern readied, you've yeah. just yeah. got the bag. Okay. okay, that's actually good. Okay. But I'm still now back. Does that mean she got back before... Okay, okay. I'm really sorry. It's yeah. all right. <laughs> it got We're back before my turn. Uh, yes. Yeah, so I can go over there and grab Yes, it. you can. Okay, quick retcon. <laughs> sorry, done, no, sorry, no. sorry. You've done, you done grab with it. So I want to check it. You done, Clayton. You've run up. I wouldn't have done that. So you're already here. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's all right. It's all good. I'm so sorry. So, no, this is good. It's all good. This is, this, is, this, is worth, this is worth it, yeah. So, what, Frey, you would go up to her, uh, to, her to them and grab oh. the lantern. Uh huh. Okay, just so gonna you rip it out your hand. Grab the lantern off of her, and, and, then, then, and then you then mop. plug my hand on your face <laughs> to heal to kill. Oh, okay. I'm gonna do Clayton. Well, he's, he's further he's away. Like, he, yeah, would you get back? He's no, because you dragged it. He's he's, he's, he's safeish. He's safe, and yeah, he's uh he's stable. Yeah, I'm gonna do the person that's in front of me. So okay, so I'm this is from the lantern. They are fully like Smush. silent sobbing. Yeah, I'm just gonna do it. Uh, yeah, so a hand just kind of goes through Royce. And <laughs> so is he still there? Then? Yes. <laughs> okay. So if, uh, Freya's rolling, is it cure wounds? I'm yeah. so sorry. It's that just, like, no, it's actually a better outcome, right? So Yeah, but I just wasted everyone's cover. actions. <laughs> it's all good. Well, I wasn't yeah. doing anything with mine anyway. Yeah, no, you get either. 10. Yeah. 10 nice. Okay, and Moxie, what would you have done instead? Uh, yeah, I guess. Punch God. <laughs> uh, yeah, same as... Um, you just hold a act, hold a chill touch if um, Sarah, Julian does. <laughs> goes, goes to the awesome. Okay. Yeah. Uh, then we're back to the top of the round. Did we decide what level the um, spells in the lantern were? Not uh, it wasn't it? Off. Wasn't it? One of them no. says two, wasn't it? Isn't it base and you, you use a spell slot? Yes, that's off. correct. Okay, so yeah. That's great. Base you can three. you can yeah. upcast, but the the base is the three spell. That's cool. Okay, so. Top of the round. Do I get hit again? Uh, Julian. Uh, so, I uh, tell you what, uh, Pharaoh hops down. <laughs> Finally! Climbs through the broken window. And <laughs> leaves. Um, no, he's, he just walks into the garden. And for those of you who can see, uh, or is anyone looking out, maybe Eugene can see through the door. He's just uh, he's going towards Gaspar's body. Oh, oh. Yeah, that was what I was interested in. Oh shit, where did Rindle die? Right next to the table. Okay, cool, good. Uh, oh no, he got. Oh yeah, he did. Absolutely. Uh, it's Julian. Julian. Everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Julian. Uh, what is the last thing that you said to him? You need to talk. Start talking. Yeah. He takes a, He takes off his mask. No, he can't. His hands are behind his back. He can, no, because the he uh, technically yeah. it's technically when you're grappled you can't move but you can still do things so you can take actions but you just can't move out of your then what's the point because his hands are behind his back because <laughs> it's like a continual grapple. wrestle it's like a continual wrestle there's a feat where you can turn okay. it into being incapacitated but okay a restraint like wrestler or some bullshit. so he so he pulls an arm away <laughs> from you and he and he pulls his mask Get down um and you see he looks very much like um moxie 
and he's got the lilac skin, uh, but his eyes are, are red. Um, he looks, a, he's more gaunt and has a much stronger jaw. And he smiles, this kind of perfect toothed grin at you. And uh, a, a greenish energy flashes in his eyes for a brief moment and he disappears. So Julian's just gone? Yes. Uh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Where? <laughs> we don't know. Um, who would see? Uh, yeah, you're looking out into the dark, so you <laughs> Freya, maybe. Freya yeah, you, you Freya see Yeah, you see him appear in the, in the, in the garden. With 30 feet, 30 feet away. Yeah, Do I see him like that? It's difficult because you're looking out, but you're facing out, so yes, you see him as well. I have got 120 foot of dark vision. Then yes, you see. Uh, and... Do I get hit again? Uh, you... Would... So I just teleport him back in front of us? <laughs> yes, you would. That's four points of psychic damage. Just so you know that if I haven't been healed, I'll be down. Yeesh. And then... Yeah, yeah. The tall disciple looks back, peers over all of you, and he has this quiet calmness. He reaches in to the slice in reality, and he repeats something he said a moment ago, which was, you shall not live to see it. And he steps through. Again, I disagree with you. (laughs) And he's gone. (sighs) And with that, uh, Julian, who knows that he's outside, uh, he's he. Those of you that can see him, you see him sprinting. uh, With uh, he he dashes with double double movement. Um, up and away to one of the walls. Over the road. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he uses your frickin' uh, rope. 120 <laughs> feet away from you. You can see him at the very reaches. Oh no, because it's pitch dark out there. So as he, as he goes past your... How far is your dark vision? 120 feet. Why is it so far? Because I'm um, so oh, sorry. Damn. Uh, you can see him at the very reaches, almost 100 feet away um, at one of the walls. Wouldn't it be fun if I went forward 30 feet and then teleported him right back? Yes. Uh, it is your go. Um, the only things that are going on is Julian running away. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a second uh, oh. little spell. Well, Would you guys like to? So I will just. Do we want to add the initiative? Um, yes, that's the question. I, think it's... I don't know whether to take a pot shot out with Chaos Bolt. And... Yeah, sure, why not? Or, <laughs> um... We're going out of initiative. How hurt is he? Not Julian? Not, yeah. not, not him at all. Not um, want. In that case, I'm going to turn around and take the Great Dagger and just stab the Graven, just to make sure. <laughs> Out of fury. Yeah. Roll with advantage. Auto uh, crit on a hit. Uh, that's... Oh, not there. Uh, that's a dirty 20. Yeah, hits. So that is... An auto crit, which is immediately two yeah, failed death so saves. It's... I mean, you only need to yeah, calculate yeah. it, because you crit. And that's an auto two death. Oh, I rolled a four as well, so that's wait. That's eleven points. No, because it's rolling death. Yeah. So where do you stab it? On the butt. Just, just like in the back where the heart would be. Sure. Right through that. So um, yeah, straight through the rib cage. Just, just for stabs, eleven points of piercing and four points of necrotic. I just want to get the necrotic in it. <laughs> and when you when you stab this thing at such close range with a dagger and twist, the heat and the steam that comes off of this thing as you open it up and the gold and blood that pours out the front. It is definitely dead now. I thought you were going to say splash damage and kill me. I tried <laughs> to keep it alive, but you guys didn't let me. Can I sprint back to Why did you want to keep it alive? Oh, before Freya goes, because Freya's been up with me, I like grab her arm, there's just like tears streaming down my face. Like, I, I want to go home now. Oh. Oh. Uh, we're at the top of the round. He's or he just here. slumps against a table and grabs like a jug of wine and just starts drinking from the jug instead. If we're still in initiative, I also want to message 
Pharaoh um, and tell him um, to meet up for brunch tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> um, and your action. Is that the coal and pelly is my action. Sure, you can see you can see him out in the dark. He's searching for Gaspar's body. Um, I would say. I mean, after about six seconds, what we'll play through in a moment, uh, Royce fades from your vision, disappears, and you know in that moment that it was uh, some kind of uh, phantasm of, of something. Some sort of phantasm force. <laughs> <laughs> when he vanishes, I just slump to the floor, just crying a lot. Yeah, I run over to my sister. Okay. I'll leave it to you guys. The floor is yours. You don't need me anymore. Can I um, see that Pharaoh's at uh, Gaspar's body? Because I'm sort of there, so I can potentially see. Can I go over to Gaspar as well, Mm -hmm. to Pharaoh? I see Eugene doing that, and I follow him. Sure, so both of you go to outside. The the body is a ruin. Um, His head, as I said, from the sort of shoulders, it's been turned to a liquid. Um, The... The, the choker around his neck that was a chain and the very very ornate compared to some of the other ones that you've seen is hanging loose. It is in one piece and it hasn't activated, but it's on the side where his head disappeared. <laughs> is that guy gone? The marble guy? He stepped yeah. through the scar. Mm. Okay. Can I, um, well, I'm gonna check that Moxie has got Sentinel. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm gonna make my way over to Clayton and give him a cure wounds. Okay, while you're rolling, what are you gonna do, Jim? Uh, I was just gonna speak to Par- Um Excuse me, what, what are you, what are you doing? Nothing. Right. Uh, this fucking asshole is the reason I'm here, and he's dead when he kicks him. Oh, no thanks to you. Ooh. Well, I mean, what, what was I supposed to do? Did you see what was going on in there? He did nothing. I, I think you should leave. Oh. 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 I've also already told him to commit some punch. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Roll, a, roll an intimidation check. Wow. Still, 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 got, still, got, still got the adrenaline running through me. Yeah. Just, just sets him on fire. Taste, just, it tastes of first blood. Uh, it's not that like cook's rush after a solid. Different man now. Uh, that is a thirteen. Okay. Uh, this is the politest yeah, intimidation yeah. ever. He's like, um, well, I'm sorry, I didn't. What did you expect me to do? I can't fight like that. If you if you touch the corpse, I will call the guards. <laughs> I mean, that was the same intimidation check, right? Yeah, yeah. He's just like, part of it. He's like, he bends over, looks at the body, looks at you. Pulls out a. I am standing like behind a, him, by the way. Yeah, he pulls out like a. It's like a cooking knife, like a cheese knife. And he's like, <laughs> I'm not touching it. And he just like lifts the <laughs> lifts the coat. <sighs> what a waste of the trip. The what were you looking for? Well, <laughs> I mean, I was the person that told you all that he was up to no good and. I mean, look, it looked like <laughs> points of the building. Yeah, I know, I know that. But what, what, what are you? Why are you here? What are you looking for? Well, because this man wanted to bring down. He wants to destroy. Uh, the, the, he wants to destroy the, the the world that we all know. I mean, I mean, did you see what they did in there? Oh yeah, yeah. We... This just supports all of my theory. Well, not all of them. Some of them are a little bit out there. <laughs> but if he wants to change. Like the world, not for the better. Um, why, why are you disappointed he's dead? Oh, I wanted to question the bastard. I wanted to kick, kick some, kick a few uh, chunks out of him myself. I mean, find some information. I mean, information. you literally could have done. Well, I mean, I'm not. I mean, it's, it's hard offense, to. But... It's hard to kick someone if you sat down. Uh, drinking drink. wine. Well, I mean, and also no I didn't know that the, 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 the whole place was going to erupt into chaos. I mean, I wanted to... Look, he's not going to speak, is he? The guy's he's just like liquid Headless. head. Yeah. Not getting much use from this, are we? Better yeah. off going to his house and 
better off going to his house. I wish I was. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I was there. Maybe have a little, little look around. Anyway, um, I think I'll go do that. And he just starts walking off. Should we just let him go? Yeah. Um, should we see if he missed anything on his on um, Gaspar's body? Okay. Well, both of you or one of you can Do roll with advantage. Roll with advantage. Oh, you be sure. Uh, and, yeah. and it would be investigation. Uh, that is going to be an 18. Very nice. Uh, so he's got about 150 gold on him. Um, we got paid for this one, guys. Yeah. 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 Some cash. Uh, and... Um, he hasn't got much else on him. He has the the choker, which you deduce the ones that you've seen, like on the hag. the The way that it activated was that the, the the chain around it effectively kind of zipped inside it and then cut the the head of the hag off. Well, this one is still open and loose, so it's unused. Um, and um, you find the broken uh, sending stick and not much else. Um, should we pick up the uh, Joker, but with some fabric, maybe? Yes. I don't think we should touch it yes, that's directly. Yes, Sure. Is, that. Or is there like a couple of sticks nearby that we can yeah, yeah. like, just pick it up? <laughs> yeah, you pick it up with sticks and yeah. uh, wrap it in cloth or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, anything else? Uh, I'll just walk, I'll, I'll now just walk back in and I want to go to Clayton. Okay. Yeah, I'm just walking as well. Okay. Uh, at some point, I would divvy up the gold whilst we're sure. in here. So. 150 divided by six. Yeah. Clayton got 15 points of healing. Oh, lovely. Uh, in that time, I'll use all five of my lay on hands and my four of healing hands <laughs> to put myself back into double digits. Yay! Yay! How nice for you. See there touching himself for several minutes. <laughs> um, <laughs> when I think of that. <laughs> <laughs> still there, not... still being shocking. <laughs> Yeah, how long does that last? Oh, oh, I did a lot of fight at one hour. Yeah. 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 I would... We uh, should, um, oh, sorry. We should probably destroy the body of this and I just kick the grave in. Um, and before anyone else shows up. Um, I'm guessing everyone's left. Is it worth looking around, seeing if there's anything? We, I don't know if we still need evidence. Well, I might have an idea, and then I uh, go into the bag and I pull out the skull cap. It's like I could maybe ask some. I could ask one of the dead guys some questions if we have any. You can. You oh. can do what? You can speak to dead people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. This, yeah. This lets me talk to dead. That's normal. I'm guessing that doesn't work if the head got exploded. It's... Yeah, so normally talk of dead doesn't let me do that if it hasn't got a mouth, but the flavour of the thing says I talk to the echo. So uh, I don't know how you would What was it that it says in there? Because I did write, I think, I'm not sure if I addressed this. No, I can, I can always speak to Rindle if, if we can't speak to Gaspar. Oh, um, we should speak to Rindle. <laughs> so what is the, do you give me the verbiage on there? Because I can't remember exactly. Uh, the, spell take, the spell takes on a different form with the mask, enabling the user to see the echo of the dead creature. The creature is imprinted in the inferior. Inf- Inferior threads of the entanglement. Uh, okay. Inferior. Yeah, I guess that wouldn't be the physical form, right? Uh, I would say, and we'll kind of, as in, we can always work this later on, but I would say as long as they have the, so for example, you couldn't do this with a finger. <laughs> so you'd have to, let's say, that the, as long as the majority of their body is intact, then it will work. Does majority of their body mean including a head? If you were casting it without the without the mask, then it would need to be normally. I can't, I can't do without the mask. Anyway. Yes. So with the mask, you can speak to you can speak to headless Gaspar. Yes. I would. Yes. The coil still. No, no, it was destroyed when he cast Revivify. Uh, I'm just going to try and like I don't know. Do we just like fire bolt the body and just try and burn it? Sure. Or I don't know. what how can we destroy this thing? Um. I mean, what I'll say, like, it's like steaming and melting or into blood and bone and bits of um, can molten gold. Can I flame until it disappears? Sure. Radiant fire, I guess. 
So. Yeah, if you guys were giving it a few minutes, it would it would do yeah, a job. Just, well, you would you know. at least be able to reduce the sum of the shape of it away, so it was just like a pile of... And then we could just like put it in a bucket and chuck it in a room. <laughs> <laughs> so the evidence is thin on the ground. <laughs> Someone take a picture. So are you guys going to blend it out with spells? a portrait. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> okay. Um, I would shock and grasp it, but I don't want to touch it. What's the rest of you guys doing? Who are you, are you gonna? Who are you gonna go and speak to, Moxie? I mean, Gaspar, you want to speak to Gaspar, story. don't we, guys? Yeah. What? How many questions do you get? You got five. Five questions. Does it have to answer truthfully? Uh, no, it does not. It answers as though it were in its little final moments, right? Uh, it's, 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 it knows no more than what it knew when it died. Okay, so, what are the questions we want to yeah, ask? Yeah. Uh, who is the disciple? The big one. Yeah, answers are usually brief, from. cryptic, or repetitive, and the corpse is under no compulsion to offer a truth and uh, offer a truthful answer. Yes, it if knows. you're a hostile to it or it recognizes you as an enemy. Yes. <laughs> However, I also have a thing with my skull cap that lets me it gives, it gives me advantage against undeads. Uh, if that's also going to be part. He of is that. an undead because he was a human. And he is dead. He's a human. <laughs> he's, a, he's a dead <laughs> human half elf. Yeah. So uh, that's not hasn't that would have been a good shout though. But uh, I would say. Could you disguise yourself as someone you might talk to? I could. I have one slot left. Did I prepare it? So uh, while he's looking, you you guys spend a, f- a couple of minutes just, just 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 trying to at least break down the corpse a bit so that it doesn't look quite as horrific and this thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, Probably make it worse. It's all up the It's walls very now. messy. <laughs> yeah, it's very messy. Is um, there anything left behind the the noble table? Where all of the big dogs were. Uh, what kind of what? What are you what are you looking for? Like there's Weapons, items, there's like the biles saber. Weapons documents. Yeah. Uh, saber, so we just start. Sure. We just yeah, start there's there's the, seeing what stuff we can find. Debiles, like very decorated ceremonial saber is there. Oh yeah. Um, the rest of his stuff was just destroyed when he was turned into the, the graven. Um, cool. Yeah, there's not really any papers there because it was purely social, but there's. You know, it's very expensive plates and mug and cups and stuff. Should we have a look around the house? Well, this house. Uh, this, I mean, one oh, thing okay. you people around. The owner's about to say everyone who is fleeing has fled. Yeah, um, so it's like. Just... But there are people milling around, like the guards. You see yeah. Captain Harold. He's like, fuck you know, and he looks in, like comes back around. So you, you know that there are people aware that something's going on. Um, whether or not the house guards will go and speak to the like actual city guard or what? Um, I said to just go up to Captain Harold. Um, keep um, keep everyone out of the house for now. Um, we just need to tidy this up. There's something strange going on here. Uh, it's very dangerous. Uh, he, he doesn't take much convincing. He's absolutely <laughs> horrified and not seasoned. He's like, okay, yep, I'll, uh, I'll go and sort that out. So, wait, say that again. <laughs> it's very, the building's unsafe. Uh, oh, yes. stru- structural damage <laughs> from a very strong gust of wind. Um, <laughs> okay, yep. Yeah. And you get. Just the, keep everyone out. Get the guard. The, oh, just keep everyone out. You go, yeah. walks outside. Um, <laughs> I will notify the town guard as well. Oh, um, okay, yeah. Of, uh, so leave that with me. Yep. And I just walk upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, you're walking upstairs. Yeah, like, right. I'm just going to go have a look around. Okay. And see uh, if there's anything fancy. Did, did you lock the doors after you left? The ones that you opened? I think I you did. I cannot remember. Probably. You, there was one that was open, uh, which was. Um, you get Mr. Yuld's office. No, didn't Mr. Stephen talk? And yeah, Mr. Stephen, then I then got, but then I then but you have found the keys. keys. Yeah, so office. you have the keys on you. So I can't remember if you locked. I think you did lock the office door on the way out. I, I cannot remember. I feel like you wouldn't. Have. I don't know. I mean, I, I mean, I could. I think we see can assume Aura, that you probably did though. Yeah, I can see Aura going away. as like, I'm gonna have a look around. Does anyone want to come? Mm-hmm. Okay. Like hey, Aura, uh, take these and. Uh, Chuck the, the keys. Good job, I haven't got one hit point if that was a bad thing. <laughs> so you're going to look around who's yeah. talking to Gaspar? So, me. Okay. Obviously. Anyone, yeah, anyone else? I'll stay with you. 
I'm patching up Clayton's wounds. In that case, I'll go with you then. What's the scarecrow doing just out of instinct? Oh, like, <laughs> the scarecrow. <laughs> oh. Disgusting. <laughs> Break you, you leave. Where are you going? Back to Kaz's. Just okay. completely, like, barely even there. Yeah, like, like catatonic. Yeah, like grab my rapier out of the pillowcase. Yeah. <laughs> leave the pillowcase in the floor and just, like, leave. Okay, and I guess people would see that. If that changes any opinions. Well, <laughs> not no, of, he doesn't. Not with that. <laughs> yeah, I don't okay. like. I don't go to hide it, but I, barely, I'm literally just going home. Okay. I don't think I would see it because I'm here. Those of you who were heading yeah. out to the back, I guess, would have your would have your backs for everything. Yeah. So you've thrown all of the keys. Passive, passive nine and a nine of one roll would not see it. Okay. Okay. So. Uh, you make your way back towards Kaz's. It's a fair walk. Um, let's go with. Uh, let's go with that's outside. So those of you who are gathering round, so you're fixing up Clayton in the hall. Mm-hmm. Um, so is it just you two? Mm. Okay. Uh, yeah, what's, what's Eugene? What's, what's I, I'll go with her aura. Okay, so you approach Gaspar's uh, body. It's actually surprisingly near Rindles. Um, I'm going to search Rindle, specifically trying to find a spell book. You sure? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you can rummage through Rindle uh, if you roll a... Uh, rummage. An <laughs> investigation. An investigation, yeah. Uh, 20, dirty. Sure. You find a Conjurer's spell book. Nice. Um, I won't go through all of the spells in there yeah, at the moment. We can do that now, yeah. we'll do that later. Yeah. Can we do any ability checks? Um, I'm gonna give you guidance. <laughs> <laughs> so are you, what are you are you going to disguise? What are you going to do? You tell me what you're doing. I mean, yeah, he's, I know he's under no obligation to be truthful with me, and we were fighting with him, so he's probably not going to tell me anything truthful. Um, do you have any disguise? You could disguise I can disguise as myself. That guy. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, I mean, I could disguise as him. He might. I mean, that could, he, if he thinks it's if he thinks it's the prophet, uh, disciple even yeah, this is the disciple killed him, so he might him. still not tell him any truth anyway. But yeah, yeah he's he probably Rindle maybe. Julian. Julian, he didn't seem to like. Julian was mad at him. Debiles. Mm. But he now just saw Debiles turn into a. He just that. kill. He killed Debiles. <laughs> but maybe he's like, <laughs> Julian's your best bet because you can threaten him. Yeah. Is what I'd say. Yeah. Is Julian's your best bet of. You also said something like Julian's the key to this, this all as well, didn't you? Mm-hmm. I think that was Ju- I think that was Gaspar that said Julian's the key. When? I mean when uh when uh Freya and Sentinel were sort of just he was dropping on like at the at the beginning when like, they first walked in. Oh he was talking about uh the key to Basically, that he because Julian was in charge of the syndicate, that he was the key to kind of key whatever picture. it was that they wanted to plan with the, with the syndicate. So the relationship between Gaspar or the Biles and so the Empire's relationship with the syndicate is what they were referring to. Mm. You can also know him personally and better since you knew him, I guess. Mm. Yeah. Uh, and you already look really similar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's just go with yes, go with Julian then. Yeah. Okay. Same here. Uh, one sort of like sweeps up and down me as well, just slowly sort of like shimmers into to Julian, so it looks like looks fairly similar to me, but a bit more boyish and with a broken broken horn. Capped off. But yeah. Yeah. Okay. And, and, the, red, can... and the red eyes. Evil evil red eyes. <laughs> you go up to this this corpse that looks surprisingly okay except for its no liquidized head. And five questions. You oh, have five, five questions. Five, yeah. Up to five questions. So uh, you put on the mask. Yep. Why are you a dick? <laughs> <laughs> you put on the mask, um, and you see as you I mean as you go to cast the spell, you see Gaspar's head in those similar golden threads that you saw, almost like ripples in a pond when a stone has been thrown. And you see it forming a rough shape of his of his head. You know, where is the form that his body wants to... Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, so yeah, yeah. 
Okay, uh, right, Gaspar. <laughs> Where is the disciple from? Roll a performance check with advantage. Okay. Or just, you can roll performance or deception, whichever's easiest for you, uh, whichever you prefer. Deception is plus four, so yeah, deception. Ooh, uh, natural 19 for 23. Very nice. nice. So what was your question? Sorry. Uh, where is the disciple from? So you hear the in its echoes rather than a voice, mm-hmm. and those of you around can see the the lungs inflating, but it's more of a, a horrible, sickening sound, and <laughs> you can't hear the actual voice. Um, where is the disciple from? Is what you're asking? Yes. Of course, you wish to know. You conniving bastard. Is that it? Fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> I think I get no fucking answers yeah, to this, <laughs> Okay. Uh, what do these chokers do? They bind us to him. You know this, you have one yourself. Mm-hmm. We cannot move against him. Should we do so, then and he trails off. Uh, okay. Uh, what was his plan? And you're referring to the disciple, yes. right? Yes. To kill a god. To and you see the threads kind of waver as his echo of his of his mind is processing these things. He says, with the death, he invokes the breaking of a great seal. Mm-hmm. And he says, we, we will light the way for the worthy. Uh, That's three. Yep. Uh, those are the those are the only three I came up with. Freya, any any ideas? Um, I also lost. Who the disciple is? What was he trying to do? What the rockets do? What the rockets do. Do you know uh, he's collecting cornerstones? Wasn't it to do this? Is he going to try and do it again? No, because the disciple would say that people were just holding cruel stones. He didn't seem very happy about it. Oh, so he doesn't he know seemed very that, when look my reading of it, he was he was very dismissive of people called like hoarding coil stones. But that's just my take on mm-hmm. what he said. Yeah, no, I don't Who else is involved? Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. Who else is involved? It takes. It. Grasping breath for everyone that can't hear the the voice in his mind, in, in your mind, Moxie says. Mm-hmm. Unanointed. Is that all of them? Okay, one more. Oh, one more question. Is this something to do with what's his plan now? He would probably say, unanointed, unconsecrated. We are one and the same. You disgust me. Why? 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 Yeah. Yeah. Why do you hate me? Question of more of a point of order. Do I'm pretty sure they remember what killed them, right? Like you killed him. Um, uh, you caused his death. Yeah, but like Julian is the one that he made. He thinks I'm Julian, so yeah. yeah. He remembers, you yeah, knows everything before he died. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, what was your question? Why? Why he disgusts you? Yeah, but yeah. I would have brought you with me. And then his voice fades. 
<laughs> and the threads dissipate like spiders web. And I would say in that moment, those of you outside, there is a calmness to everything. There is a... Above in the night sky, there is a quietness that only happens after, you know, a great change. Uh, you look out above the city, the stars, the the uh, geish is the only light in the sky, and sort of glistening on the purple on the on the uh, rooftops of the city. Um, and Freya, you probably see uh, a, a quick sort of glimmering as something flying high up in the sky that sort of catches the light of Geish. A sort of small streak, it's like a bird or something. <laughs> is he all right? Maybe not, and maybe now. <laughs> oh, I can't see what it is. Uh, if you do, if you look at it properly, roll in this uh, perception check. Yeah, sure. Can I also perceive that Sentinel's missing? You absolutely can, <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, what was I doing? Perception. perception. Uh, 15. Um, it looks like it's a high, sort of high flying bird, really, maybe, but it's hard to say. Oh. Well, that's not... Yes. <laughs> okay, uh, thief squad. <laughs> so. You've... I will not be stealing. <laughs> yeah. I will just so be there enough. to look. <laughs> so uh, I guess you would pass Amaya, who's in the hallway with Clayton. So he's yeah. unconscious, but you, he's stable. That's so what you're doing. I'm like bandaging up all of his wounds. Yeah. Are you going to just continue to do that, or are you going to do something else? Yeah, but I'm mumbling, like, wake up, just have a All right, yeah. <laughs> he's just like, <laughs> out cold. Really 50 out. points, why is he still out cold? Oh shit, you did heal him. Yeah, no, so he's, he's got, sorry, my bad. So yeah, he's, uh, so since the, the lantern, you've, you came over and you are bandaging up, he's like, grumbling about it all, and he's like, fucking hell. After this, we'll go find him some food and beer. Yeah, in the kitchens. do you say that? Yeah. That's exactly what I need. Me too. We'll stop off as we go past. Good job. Give him a fist bump. He and goes, then, um... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> takes, takes 15 damage. <laughs> as, I, as I go past, all right. I hear the, uh, the prawns are pretty good. Oh, the no. chocolate oh. puddings are better. <laughs> oh. I'm so fucking angry. We get some prawns and some chocolate puddings. That doesn't go together. I can if you want it. So. <laughs> okay. We're just gonna we're just gonna have a look round. Um, we'll be uh, in the kitchen. Be be quick there. Harold is a useless cunt, but oh fuck me, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> <laughs> it's so Australian. It's the Australian uh, can, can we just keep it in? Yeah. yeah. He's, he's like, useless. You can probably but, uh, bleep it. Easy enough. <laughs> yeah. Bleep but uh, it. it won't be long before this place is flooded with. Uh, with the busybodies, oh, I'm lighted. I, I told him I was going to get the time to go, so hopefully we've got a few minutes. But, um, All right, he tries to get up. Oh, yeah. I'll help get, him up. Get some food and we should Grab probably some food get, and we should get, like, out. get out. We'll, so go, we'll, go, get get, we'll go down and we'll basically like pack up a massive fucking picnic. Okay. okay. <laughs> Like, you, as, yeah. as much, like, food and drink and stuff to take away with us. Yeah, okay. Can, can you grab my crossbow for me, if that's okay? Oh, I'm way up. Oh, I, uh, I believe it's near the yes. stage. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I guess, Eugene, I'll go get your crossbow. <laughs> we'll say you guys collect all your bits, yeah, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, I also have a pillowcase full of shit <laughs> yeah. I just left on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, um, Aura and Eugene, you make your way upstairs. You don't really know where you're going. So, you remember where the office is, what, Mr. Yuld? What is it we're, we're doing up here? Uh, I think we need... Well, we needed evidence. Um, I don't know if Moxie managed to get any or not before everything kicked off. Well, we can, can have a look. Um, I have no idea where I'm going now, so... Do you? I've been here before, haven't I? Uh-huh. Yeah. So, which at the top of the stairs, which way would you guys go? Go left or right? Mr. Yule's office was to the left, that's the only thing you remember. Um, there's more doors up to the right. Um, the office is that way, That I guess we'll start there. Okay. And Moxie gave us a load of keys, so... You're gonna find the money I left there. <laughs> 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 
like that. <laughs> um, if you can find it. Okay. So who's going to enjoy it now? What well, we won't we won't like go it's through it like in the in, bit by bit. Just, you guys have the keys, so you can unlock the rooms that you know about. So that's yeah. the so there's the waiting room. There's Mister Yield's office. There is um, the opulent door. The opulent door, which is uh, Debile's office. So what are you guys going to do? So as you open each of those rooms, you know that Mox has already looked through them. So there's not there was nothing in. Um, the one there, did you? you right, did. I did, yeah. There was, mm-hmm. that was the, that the one with the coil stone yeah. And yeah. stuff. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. But yeah, you, you do not know about the traps and all that. No. <laughs> nope. Okay, um, so you go yeah, up. just start going. You go up into the office and that. And yeah, so I mean, we did some checks before, and we know that you, there wasn't anything of value in Yuld's office. There was nothing of value in. No, there's uh, something of value in Yuld's. No, it's in Debile's office. The no, you the money. The money. the money. Oh, the money, okay. Uh, so would you be searching through the desks? Yeah, I'm looking for papers and anything that's evidence. Okay, uh, roll a, an um, investigation check. Oh, big shit. Yeah, can do. Got find Buddy DC now. Oh, before you roll, I'm just like... Mm. Um, yeah. I, I always find when, when you're uh, yeah, looking for like things, really like reach or something. at the back. That's where you should be, and I give you guidance. Oh, I threw my ball. So you're rolling individually, are you? Yeah. yeah. Not good. Uh, nine. Twenty, but not natural. <laughs> okay. Uh, so Eugene and uh, we're together. You open different drawers. You open up the one that we know that gold was in, uh, and you can you can see that underneath there there is a um, it, uh, a false bottom to the cabinet. You can take that off, and there is a, there is a bag of money in there. Um. I can't remember how much it was now. I can't I remember. It was at least a hundred. Yeah. Oh yeah, everyone's got an extra twenty-five. Twenty-five. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, tasty. It's, I believe it is one hundred and fifty as well. So yum yum money. Which room are we in at the moment? Mister Yields. Um, this is probably Mister Yields' money. I, I I don't think we should touch it. Hopefully he's still alive. Uh, I'm not sure he is after all of this. Um, <laughs> I, I know that. What I did can be, you know, is, is thieving, but Gaspar wouldn't have used it. Um, yeah, I don't think we should take this money. <laughs> the long pause. Pregnant right. pause, pregnant pause. <laughs> Do you want another letter? <laughs> <laughs> we uh, did probably save his life. And I. Uh, Probably need a new sword. Mine's kind of in pieces. Again. I just... Uh, it just seems wrong to Have me. Have they paid you yet, by the way? Paid me? If you're working in the kitchen. I don't think we'll be getting that money. I think there's probably more important things of that. Well, here you go then. Consider this payment, I'll take the gold on putting it. I don't think I'm that good a, a cook. Oh, I did manage to get one of the chocolate puddings. Do you like it? Very good. Enjoyed the whiskey. Oh, uh, yeah. I wasn't supposed to do that. Anyway. <laughs> um, I figured. <laughs> ne- ne- let's, let's go anyway. Yeah. I walk behind Aura and just draw the money. Uh, okay. Uh, no, I drop the money. Uh, yeah, if he drops it on the floor, you gotta. I'm not gonna drop it on the floor. Or you just pop it on the desk. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just right. like chuck it in a plan. <laughs> okay. You leave the so room. Cute. You go. Where are you going next? The only one you haven't been to down that side is the uh, opulent door. Yeah. Okay. Seems, it seems important. So you unlock the door. Uh, you um, you open the door and you see uh, Mr. Yuld. <laughs> What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Oh, I'm, just, I'm, I'm bloody well sorting out. Uh, uh, who's seen what's been happening? This is awful. Yes, uh, we're just, uh, we're just like covered in blood. <laughs> we're just here on security. Um, Good, yes, guards, yes. Yes, um, Harold, he's gathering everyone outside. Um, we were just doing a sweep to make sure there was no one left. Uh, oh, is okay. The building's not safe. We are. Now. Yes, well, uh, and he looks at the office like, terrible, terrible what's happened. Well, a terrible accident. And anyway. Uh, <laughs> Do I believe it? Uh, it's a terrible accident. You can roll, roll um, insight. 
Oh, he's 100 percent drunk. Ooh, that's gonna be good. Um, uh, eighteen. Uh, yeah, you. Ble- he's yes, he is drunk, but also it's like this. It's like he's not processing. He's just making sharp. He's like, yeah, you know, he can't understand what happened. Therefore, is he's just coming out of the gym with rubbish. Oh, oh, that's awful! What happened? You know, I think it's all very disturbing. But, um, yes, well, we must. Some, be... some are gathering um, up some food and drinks downstairs for the people in shock, um, and then. Uh, Dispersing those outside where it's safe and the building won't collapse in there. All right, well, okay, well. It might be a good place to start to. Everyone's got a lot to process today. Okay, yes, please. Well, um, he like ushers you out the room. Yeah. Okay, so you follow him out the room. Um, and then, come on, Eugene, we should check next room, make sure there's no one else there, and then, like, walk as if we're going back to the office. <laughs> as in, back to Mr. Yule's office. <laughs> um, yeah, sort of as he's going, like, as if we're just like sort of going room to room, checking there's no one left inside. Okay. Uh, yeah, he, he he follows you for a moment and he, then he sees you with the keys and he's like, where did you get those? Oh, uh, they were passed on to us by um, Gaspar's assistant. I am Gaspar's assistant. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, he's, he's, he's other assistant. He's, he's, uh, oh, no, you're right. It's DeBiles. He is DeBiles' assistant. Why, why would Gaspar, like, you would know that. Did you mean to say Gaspar's assistant? Yeah. <laughs> Gaspar's does not have Mr. Bisfell does not have keys. How you um, know. Well, he's passed these on to us, and he tries to snatch just, them off of you. Just like why? <laughs> okay, so let's do. <laughs> Uh, your dex save against his so your your dexterity or I mean it's a mini kind of like he's drunk sleight of hand with disadvantage so oh okay what oh no disadvantage uh, that's an 8 what am I doing uh, so you're trying to whip them away so I guess contested his sleight of hand against your like dex I would say initiative or initiative initiative check uh, natural 20. Okay. <laughs> 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 you, just, like, you see him go for it and he's like... <laughs> he's like... Um, Captain Harold gave us a job to do. Uh, okay. <laughs> he looks at both of you and he just, he just starts walking towards the, the landing. I recommend the chocolate pudding. <laughs> he doesn't see, he's like swamped in his big gown, like the big uh, burnt orange, orange cloak and stuff. Um, or what, what are you talking about? I'm, I'm very confused now. <laughs> We're just making sure everyone up here is safe. I thought we were looking for evidence. We're doing that at the same time. We were, we're able to multitask. There are two of us. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, let's do a... Let's not go room by room. So let's roll a... Uh, so if you're going to take 10 minutes, yeah, we'll roll um, an intelligence check with advantage. Um, and you might... Sorry, an investigation. You might as well both roll. Both with advantage. Yeah. As long as you're. So, is your aim to just find evidence, but or find evidence and just anything? Okay. I believe that we're just finding evidence. Okay. So I'm looking for evidence. If Aura's doing something else, I don't know. I'm just looking at all the stuff. Okay. But I got twenty-one. Okay. Uh, seventeen. Okay. Uh, so you both find if you returned, if you were to return to Deval's office, you see the, the <laughs> coil stone construction of many different glass shards of the coil shards and stones, and in this big stand, it's in like a glass cube by the window. Uh, outside the window, you can see them gathered around the body of Gaspar, um, and uh, yeah, that's the only thing that you find in. Um, De Bile's room, but generally you find another uh, 175 gold. Nice. Whether or, whether or not you it. take it. I'll pick this one up. Okay. <laughs> um, take I gave Eugene one. one. So. Yeah. Well, cool. De Bile's is definitely dead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We don't need it. Yeah. Um, I, don't, I don't think this will be enough to pay for the retrieval of his soul. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> you, come across, um, you come across some people hidden away in some of the um, the rooms. So there's just like a uh, servant's room, and they're huddled away in there, terrified. Um, Those are like people is, hiding to bed. 
<laughs> not yet. Uh, it's safe. Just well, sort of. The place. building's not. Um, people are gathering outside. Okay, yeah, they, they do what you say, they take you, trust you, and, and you go just down. just like a guard. Um, but other than the gold and the um, the coil stone construction, uh, as I said to when Moxie was looking through Dabal's office, it's, it's kind of eerily clear. Mm. Um, before we look at the coil stones or coil shards, because I assume we're going to, um, are you some sort of surveyor? <laughs> <laughs> I have been known to so many things. I'm just really fascinated how, you know, there's structural damage to the building. Like, when did you have time to do that? That's very impressive, Aura. Uh, well, we did some of the, we did some studying on structure at the at the edge watches. Um, I believe all time, of us. From time, from time to time, when things came out of the edge, they might hit parts of the buildings or the walls. But, but good heavens, are we in danger being in this building then? Uh, not really, it's mainly the part where Freya blew the window up. But a window wouldn't mean that a building isn't structurally sound. And if you're a surveyor as you say you are, then surely you would know that. <laughs> wow. Did you did you not see the cracks in the walls around uh, there? No, were there cracks in the walls? <laughs> Small ones, but I think... Oh no, the, oh no, sorry, we have to hurry, we, we could be in danger. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's in danger. Oh no! <laughs> it's okay. I think we've got some time, and I think after Moxie had spoken to Gaspar, she was going to start trying to repair some of them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, I believe that. Yeah. Okay. So well, Moxie is a very accomplished wizard, so yeah, so <laughs> okay. Have that <laughs> What's the plan with the with the coil with the coil stones, guys? Anyway, what What do you think of this? It looks. Very fancy. Um, what's my sort of knowledge of coil shards? Um, I don't know. Roll an arcana check. <laughs> and if you're proficient or you can roll. Uh, I am not. 16. Uh, you know, beyond the artificing that you do know, uh, that they, they're used, the shards are used to power sigilisms, and that can mean some perpetual spells, like in the Phaetons, it's, it causes an elevation, you know, that lightens the load and enables the horses to pull them, and that's, that. you know, these applications of sigilism you're aware of. Uh, in terms of the coil stones and coil shards in this shape, you've never seen, um, but just looking at it, it and your, your intellectual mind recognizes that it is part of the, each of these individual tiny pieces are part of a larger thing and it makes you think that really we don't know where the, the coal stones come from and this is interesting to see to see them in a form that's not just broken pieces but actually beginning to take shape somewhere and into something else um but yeah i'd say that's probably about it for 16. um it is a, it is curious but i don't know what we can do with this really i mean I don't think this is going to count as evidence. It might do. I, I, is there, I just wonder if he was clearing stuff out of the office when he was rummaging around in here. So who was rummaging around in here? Um, oh, um, oh, yeah. yeah. Um, so it looked like stuff's been moved hastily. Oh, I'd say so. Well, maybe, maybe it could be evidence then. But how are we going to get this down? How big is this? Uh, it's about a foot by foot. It's like a foot cube, the glass. So we could just carry the cube. Um, you haven't tried. <laughs> I could probably lift it and, I mean, if I can't, <laughs> if I can't we've got a Maya. Oh, I know, I know, <laughs> but the <Jean> doesn't know. <laughs> or if set. So, oh, we can't do that till tomorrow. If Sentinel was here, we could have put it in her room. Um, well, I, I'm... Does it look pretty? Do I know if like coil stones would be quite heavy? They're very dense, yes. Well, I don't think I'm going to be able to uh, lift this. Uh, so if you think you can lift it, then by all means, but I don't try. know how. I'd be careful though, because this seems quite important and. I we don't want to drop it. Well, yes, of course. <laughs> we don't want to drop, drop it. it. <laughs> all right, okay. Well, yes, of course, but I, I just. I, I, I can't so see. I don't want to blow up. See? <laughs> I mean, there's, there's magic involved. I, d I don't know if, if we take it, if there's going to be repercussions. I, I don't know. Can you detect any magic on it? Uh, not today, no. 
I mean, it's clearly magical, though. I mean, we could have a look. <laughs> can I inspect it for traps? You can roll an investigation <laughs> check. so long. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if it, there might be maybe there's mundane traps or something. It, then again, it was in his office, but we should probably check. Um, I don't know if you've got any ideas on traps. I've never set a trap. No. <laughs> Okay. Well, I will look on my own. Okay. So uh, how long have they been doing? <laughs> <laughs> Ten minutes or so. Uh, no, I Seventeen. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you don't see any traps, but uh, you do see that where the wires that are holding up, they're kind of suspending these individual shards that form this shape, a bit like, you know, holding up bones in a fossil, you know, the fossils into, the, into place. Some of these wires go down into the base, the black wooden base that it's this glass cube is set upon. Um, and you can see that they go they go down and anchor through there. Uh, it could be that they're just joined in there. There could be some kind of mechanism in there. If it was to, sp- specifically looking if it, to see if it's a trap, it may be. <laughs> so like how big, so we've got the foot cube. Like how big is the pedestal? Uh, it's, <laughs> So it's about it's about four foot off the floor. Okay. So the pedestal is about three Take feet. It's about three foot high, and it seems fixed to the floor. Just just for reference, I'm three foot five. <laughs> yeah. So, so, <laughs> so, so the cube, the top of the cube, is about just over half a foot higher than Eugene. So is it like a, like a glass top's just been placed over it? So you got your stand made of black okay. wood, it's yeah. fixed, and then on the top of it is a cube of glass, and within that cube of glass is the shape, of the coil stone. Okay, so like if I lift the cube off, I'm going to take the pedestal with it. Maybe. In a way, aren't you glad you went home? <laughs> <laughs> you just hear an explosion like, miles away. I, I wonder if I could get this off. the streets, just like... And I'm going to grab it. <laughs> okay. Oh. How... Like, tell me what you do exactly. What you do? Um, <laughs> so exactly like, I'm so trying to lift. How you die? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to lift the cube off. How hard are you trying to get it off? Uh, I'm going to do it. Hey. I don't want to break it. Okay, like, so you do it gently. Yeah. Uh, it's fixed to the stand. At least there's resistance there when you first go like that. <laughs> well, yeah, you go and you gently grab the sides of the cube and lift it, and it seems that there is resistance. Whether it's it's attached maybe or something. But you said to me you're doing it gently. So. Yeah. Um, I will then gently try and pick it up from the base instead. Uh, the base is fixed to the floor as well. Hmm. You're not allowed to take this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, at the moment, you just gen- gingerly kind of prodded it, you know. Maybe we should get Moxie to have a look at this. <laughs> or I could but just I thought Moxie the was busy fixing the structural faults in the building. I'm sure she she's very accomplished. She must be oh, no, no, done but, by now. But or I, I appreciate this, but I don't think I thought you did grasp the situation. But if this building is structurally unsound, then I, right, I really do hope now. I really do hope Moxie is focusing all of her efforts on this. Oh my god! What are you doing? Do you want to do the Do you reckon we could break the glass? <laughs> It's, uh, it's, a, it's about, I mean, but yeah, go on, sorry, carry on, Eugene. Um, I suppose, it, you know, if you had a sharp implement, then yes, you could break the glass, but um, uh, there's going to be some sort of energy in those coil stones. I mean, we saw downstairs what the coil stone did, so I don't know, if we, break, if, we break, if we break the glass, there might be some impact. I'm, I, I don't know if that's the best idea. Um, what do you think they're doing? <laughs> maybe maybe no, they we should back up out of the room just in case. Did you see anything so interesting? That, that, that Who has the other um, walkie-talkie? Oh, um, me. Yeah, for a, um, Can I... Because... Uh, I'm taking it out. Yeah. Let's get rid of it. Hi, Freya. Um, just to check um, a few things. I hope Moxie's um, fixing the building, but also, also there's like some <laughs> coil stones upstairs. Um, can Moxie help? Um, they say they found some coil stones. Oh yeah, no, that's that's uh, trapped. Uh, I wouldn't touch it. Uh, I mean, Moxie recommends you don't touch it. 
or is like just about to throw out. <laughs> so I would say that you're. So if you're at the door, are you? Yeah. Okay. So from because the thing's set back like five or ten feet from the window, you the furthest out of the door you could get would be about fifteen feet from it. So you're standing there. Got a range of twenty feet. So you're Stop standing it. there with oh, your range of twenty feet on the hand axe. Yeah. Okay. Um, Aura, I just spoke to Freya, who just spoke to Moxie, who <laughs> believes that. This might be a terrible idea. Are you in, where are you, Eugene? Hiding around the corner. In the corridor. <laughs> yes. It's on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> I've just spoke to Mark. <laughs> okay, what are you doing? Right. Did she, why did she think it's a terrible idea? Uh, I, I didn't ask. She did say it was trapped. Yeah. Oh, yes. Um, there must. Uh, I believe that uh, Moxie believes there is some sort of booby trap on this. <laughs> so it's a good job we didn't pick it up. Well, if you throw a hand axe at it, and also you might break the coil stones. Anyway, whatever you're going to do, do it quickly. I'm around the corner. I'm just be careful, or okay. will you be okay. careful? Of course, I'm going to take <laughs> five. I'm going to step back five feet, so I'm the twenty feet, and I'm just going to lob the hand. Axe. <laughs> okay. So you, so you are exact. So you are exactly twenty feet away from it. Yeah. So you can hit it with your weapon that has a range of twenty feet. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, roll an attack. Please move. Sobbing Please in the move. street. I'm trying here, guys. Right? You're an advantage because it's fixed. Yeah. <laughs> yes. uh, actually, no, it's just got a really low AC. Completely comatose. Uh, that's a nine. It's an eight DC, so you hit. AC, so you hit. Uh, roll damage. It's good that we used all of our healing spells. I have one left. <laughs> At least I healed myself. Yeah, that's true. Ooh. Um, that is nine points of damage. Okay, let me just check. <laughs> and then, it was like, as soon as he throws it, he's just gonna duck. It's the just sound of the explosion breaking from my reprieve, <laughs> <laughs> knowing that all of my friends are dead. <laughs> yeah, but it's just a crater. The, the crater here like, in the basement. So oh, you're safe, down. you're in the bomb shelter. How many, uh, how many points? Nine. nine. Uh, yeah, your axe soars through the room. <laughs> and it hits a dead, dead <laughs> center. <laughs> A crack spider webs out onto it, and it remains intact, mm. just mm. So so cut to black. This. <laughs> you the best. As, as in, it's not broken yet. You've cracked it, but it remains intact. So but your, and your axe then trapped, fell onto the floor in front of it. You, yeah, do we notice any... There is no change. You've cracked maybe the glass. I, maybe I shouldn't. Should I go and pick up my hand axe? I, I, have, okay. a, I have a dagger if you want to throw that. Yeah. Sure. Sorry, Eugene's dagger. You're throwing the dagger. <laughs> Eugene's dagger. Okay. Oh, Christ. And a range on it? Uh, dagger is also 20 yeah, feet. Yeah, 20 feet, yeah. Oh. Don't that's make it back, uh, who knows? an eight. And where are you? <laughs> You're the other side. You're hiding. I'm hiding. I'm, I'm, hiding. I'm okay. around the side of the wall. And you've rolled an AC to hit a dagger here. Okay, roll damage. Because we we're not going to get to the next episode. <laughs> Uh, four points of damage. Four points of damage, okay. And it will instinctively duck again, just in case. Uh, so you're in the doorway, it's 20 so feet away. Stupid. You throw the knife. It flings across the room. It goes through the glass easily. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I'm not going to do that. It bounces off the glass, break, leaving the hole. And the moment that the glass breaks... Oh, no. uh, there is a blinding light around the rim of the pane, um, and bl like cold blue, uh, painfully bright light explodes outwards in a radius of twenty feet. <laughs> and you take five d eight cold damage. Oh! <laughs> we warned you <laughs> <Yeah>. repeatedly. <laughs> I've so many times. <laughs> Good night, sweet <laughs> prince. That might not be bad. Steve didn't get to die by Raven. He was like. That's 25 cold damage. Yeah, I'm <laughs> So, what you're telling me is Eugene, the smallest so, in the group. <laughs> so, there is a. Uh, so I was sound, outrageous for this, right? You're in cover behind the wall. Oh, thank God. So <laughs> the, the the cut glass moment and the shattering of the glass and Aura's like, I think I got it. And then <laughs> this, light, this blinding, freezing light and he just collapses to the floor covered in frost, covered in, in rime and crystals and he is immediately pale, his lips turning blue. Um, can I... And he is unconscious. I, I, I scream. 
<laughs> and I run <laughs> over to uh, Aura. Everyone outside and everyone inside hears the noise as well. <laughs> I run over to Do Aura. Do I hear like... it wherever I am? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> You've probably been walking 10 minutes, so you're probably around the edge of the grounds. And you hear, yeah, the glass just in the glass window behind it just shatters. Uh, <laughs> well, I don't do anything that doesn't break my reprieve, but I do hear it. Yeah, you hear a loud um, explosion. So I, um, <laughs> I run over to um, Aura and I um, force a menthol sweet down his mouth and cast Kill Wound. <laughs> Oh, that's Christ. the last healing spell in the group. Yep. Uh, so we need to leave. That's not a D8. <laughs> we need to leave this place. I tried. <laughs> <laughs> what D8? There we go. Got one. Uh, so that is uh, nine points of health. Oh, that's a little. Is that the first time you've gone down? Uh, yes, it is. Okay. Uh, how much and damage did you take with that? 25. And uh, <gasps> with the intake of breath, you are freezing cold. Your joints feel like there's glass in them. Your fingers <laughs> are like warming up immediately with the rush of healing and heat. It's so painful. Um, and that's where we're going to end. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. <laughs>